This is the route I take to go to Rogue Ales, also known as uh, Oregon Brewing. That's what's on our paperwork. When you leave, make sure you're very careful on this corner right here. You're going to need to get into the other lane. Stop for any oncoming traffic. If you don't, you're going to be killing some lawn and tires. Getting off uh, 101, going into the brewery, very easy. Watch out for pedestrians, especially in the summertime. As you can see, there's an RV camp there. Go in that entrance there. Turn around. Going to dock right there. The street name has actually changed to Marine Science Drive. So your GPS might not recognize OSU, which what our uh, BOL shows. If there are a lot of vehicles in the parking lot around the recycling area, especially, take a right when you get into the driveway, the parking lot area. Check in right there. And here I am coming into town. You can see I jump into the center lane rather early because I don't want my trailer in that other lane. This is a pretty easy turn there. Just uh, get out there into the intersection before you make the turn. And then jump in over to the left lane because the right lane turns. If you're familiar with Newport, you know this already. This is an easy corner, just stay to the left a little bit, no worries. Now start watching for pedestrians here, especially during the summertime. There's lots of people all over walking their dogs early in the morning. And there's the facility right there. Look to the left, scope out the parking situation, the parking lot. See how many vehicles are there, and then decide if you want to take a 180 or turn to the right once you get into this driveway area here. No, I'm not going this fast. It's on 200 times speed, or 200%, two times. Going to dock right there. That right there is the rece shipping receiving. That's where you're going to check in at. So if you turn right, then just back straight up to this position. Just be careful backing up. Make sure that no other vehicles came in. It looks tight, but it's easily done. Their dock's a little low, so they need to take off the last two stacks off the trailer first. Once they've done that, then you can back in. Be careful, it's really tight. If you make too much of a turn right in here, you're gonna hit that cement barrier. And when you're leaving, again, this is very empty here, but in the summertime, there's lots of people everywhere. Just watch for that sign, hang a left. This is actually a pretty tight corner with our trailer um, tandems all the way back. If there's traffic coming, wait for them because you don't want to run over them. 
And right about here is where you want to start jumping into the other lane. Make sure there's no oncoming traffic. I dropped the trailer and I'm bobtail, so I would be much further over if I had a trailer behind me. I got honked at a couple of times there. But oh well, I did it right and didn't kill anything or anybody. And now it's time to enjoy a nice trip home.